I just harvested some ingredients for salsa from our garden and I thought, hey, why don't I give you a quick tour of the kitchen? So we enter into the restaurant from the garden, come into our kitchen. So it's a pretty small and simple kitchen. We don't have a walk-in freezer or fridge. We just use this uh, sliding glass true Coke fridge and freezer here. This is our prep area where most of the prep takes place. Some fresh ingredients around. Then we have all of our spices here and dry goods on shelves. Need a lot of shelves in the kitchen. Pastas, a steam juicer, which is really fun. Then we have like food processor and a smoker that vents out up there. Cabinet with all of the little doodads that you need in a kitchen. Deli containers, of course, more appliances, juicer, RoboCoop, Vitamix, meat grinder, small deep fryer. There's also a rice cooker down there, back seal machine, microwave. This is the area where we do desserts. So we have a little dessert fridge here. It's sort of the containers and doodads that attach to all the equipment. And all the desserts nicely stored away in containers and labeled. It's our lovely knife section. We have a smattering of kind of crappy knives and some nice Japanese steel as well. We have this ice shaver and we use this for ice for oysters, which is pretty cool. This is our cold sink. It has hot water, but I call it cold sink because we use it just to wash uh, food like produce and potatoes and things like that various accoutrements to the kitchen, hand washing station, we've got several of those, ice machine. I like wooden kind of boards. It's all of our stainless steel, there's a salad spinner, hotel pans, bowls, inserts, rags, lids and attachments. Various plastic inserts, fish tubs, Cambros, and we have a rolling rack here for proofing bread because we make all our own bread. This is our bakery section. We have like pretty simple combi oven, so that does steam and heat. Mixer, all of our bins of flour, scale, and various baking and jarring ingredients like pectin. Now, if we go through here, we will end up in our hot side of the kitchen. So there's the pass, some pans hanging up, and this is our fume hood and our range. We have a deep fryer that we use sometimes, not in use really right now. Uh, we're doing mostly new potatoes because it's that time of year. Pots and pans down below. And then we have our flip top fridges, which are Sort of put away for the night so there's not a lot there all of our small wares of various types another microwave we use a four burner and a french top and we do most of our cooking in cast iron Another hand washing station. You can see that out the pass is the garden, which is pretty cool. Gives the, when you're cooking the line, a nice view, roots you in where the food is coming from. Our little under counter dishwasher in our dish pit. Then there's a bunch of fire suppression system. We have a big chalkboard where we write down our par levels and what we have in stock. And then that leads us out the swinging doors into 
the tavern section of our restaurant and the bar. Espresso machine, wine, alcohol. We do a lot of cocktails. We have a kegerator, glassware. I like skateboards and other sort of 80s punk and post-punk sort of stuff. So it's a little bit eclectic in here. Bam. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough.